All right, folks, uh, as you can see, here's a picture of Farmer Ben. Um, this story today is going to be a situation where <clears throat> Farmer Ben gets a length of, uh, I guess we could say a length of fence. He's got 320 meters of fence. He has to make uh, he has to make some kind of rectangular yard in order to enclose his animals. So his yard has to be 320 meters in perimeter, okay? Now, of course, you could make a rectangle, rectangle like this, or you could make something that looks more like a square like this. But he's stuck to 320 as his perimeter, okay? Now, you might have been distracted while I'm talking, so we'll just read this out together. Hey, kids, don't forget to pet the animals. They might just say, hello. Okay, now that we've read that, we can uh, continue on with thinking about math. So, Farmer Ben comes up with three different scenarios that he thinks would be good. Here, the first one is a rectangle here, and if you were to add up all the sides, 120 plus 40 plus another 120 plus another 40, you would get 320 as your perimeter. Okay, same with over here, 60 plus 100 plus 60 plus 100, 320. Over here we have a square, 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80, again, 320. Did you know that one of these shapes here that he's picked has the most possible area that you can get if, you're, uh, if you enclose them in a rectangular area? Did you know that? Well, <clears throat> first of all, you remember from the last unit that to find the area of a rectangle, you just take the length times the width. So what's 120 times 40? 40. 4,800. I just did it on my calculator. 4,800, and don't forget to write meters, and then the little squared there tells us we're talking about area. So the area of this is 4,800 meters squared. Just before I do the next one over here, do you think that the answer will be the same? Do you think the area inside the rectangle will be the same? Well, surprisingly, even though the perimeter is the same for all of these, the area is not the same. What, and you can do this in your head, what's 60 times 100? Well, just write down the 60, and then whenever you times by 100, you just add two zeros. So, so far, I'm thinking that Farmer Ben would rather have this one than this one over here, because it's got 6,000 meters squared. It's just more area for the animals. He's making the most of his fence. But wait, there's one more. And of course, just like any story, uh, they always save the best for last. Here we go. We have a square. We have 80 times 80. What is that? Well, 8 times 8 is 64, so I'm going to write 64. And uh, put the zeros on. And then the meters squared. Did you notice that this one has the most area that you can get out of a perimeter of 320 meters. So when the perimeter was 320 meters, then the maximum, that means the most, the maximum area that you can enclose in a rectangular shape is, and sometimes they write it like this, 80 meters by 80 meters. It's a square. Okay? And you'll find that's the way it is with any situation like this. If you use a square, you will always get the most possible area for your amount of fence. You'll get the most bang for your buck, if you will. Because, heck, fencing's probably not cheap. You want to get the most possible area. I hope you kind of understood this because I'm going to stop now, keep this video a little shorter. Good luck on the quiz.